Today we'll recap a 2021 horror film named Hellbender. A teen and her mother live simply in a home in the woods, spending their time making metal music. A chance encounter with a fellow teen causes her to uncover a connection between her family and witchcraft, which causes a rift with her mother. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a lady who is eating the flesh of humans and his mouth is sewed, and from this, we comprehend that she is certainly not a human yet a witch. Now the scene shifts and we see certain individuals hanging a woman. The gathering was all ladies and it seemed as though they were all witches. After some time that young lady passes on, however, unexpectedly she begins moving once more, which everybody is astounded to see. Then one of the witches takes out her gun and fires a couple of shots at her head, yet yeah, even this doesn't kill her. Then, another witch continues to go after her with a dagger. However, the lady flies out of sight burning. Now the scene shifts and we see a band rehearsing. Izzy is playing the drums and her mom is on the guitar. Later her mom says that tomorrow she is going to town to get some stuff, to which Izzy requests to go with her, but she disagrees. The following day her mom leaves for the town and Izzy comes out of the house and starts swimming. Izzy's mom likes a crown in the shop when an elderly person tells her that he knows her. She was his grandma's nurse. But she says that maybe he has some misunderstanding and then she takes the crown and leaves from there. She then gets back home and shows Izzy the crown which she adores a lot. Next, we see her mom in the woods where she takes a few broken wooden sticks and plucks her hair and wraps them. Then she takes out blood from her mouth, blends it in with certain berries, and starts reciting a few spells while applying it to the symbol produced using those sticks and afterward makes it fly in the air. The following day we again see her mom doing likewise custom at home in which she makes a similar image. And through this, she had the option to see Izzy. Then we see Izzy sitting near a waterfall drawing it when a man comes there, and lets her know that he is lost while hiking. He asks her the way back. However, Izzy doesn't have the idea. The man tells her that she looks like his niece Amber who lives nearby. He then continues to show her the symbol image on his phone, but Izzy stops him and tells him that she is sick. Then he asks her from a distance whether she knows what this is. However, her mom comes there and signs her to leave from that point. Then the very next moment she is behind the man whom he is surprised to see. Now she is showing him the way back and he is questioning her a lot. She stops and asks him if he is married and does he has any children. He gets surprised and tells her that he is not married. After which she hangs him in the air with her powers, cuts his hand, and tastes his blood, but she does not like his blood, so he kills him by turning him into dust. But after doing this she becomes very sad and starts crying. Then she comes back to her house where Izzy tries to talk to her, but she goes to her room without saying anything to her and falls asleep. Now the next day Izzy tries to see that side of the mountain with binoculars and decides to go there. On the other hand, her mother sees a deer outside the house and she starts following it. Here Izzy had crossed the mountains and reached a house where she sees a girl who is talking to someone on the phone. That's when the girl notices her over there and starts walking towards her. She was thinking of her as someone else. Here Izzy tells her name and that girl introduces herself as Amber. She then invites her for a beer and Izzy happily accepts her invitation. Now Izzy comes inside but she doesn't go near her and tells her that she is sick. Amber tells her to sit after which they start talking. On the other hand, her mother puts her hand on that symbol, takes out one key, and goes to a secret room. She sees a book there, and as soon as she lays her hand on it, she sees some visions in which Izzy calls her a liar, and then the demon drags her away. After that, she leaves there. Here Izzy and Amber became good friends and they start enjoying themselves a lot while swimming. Later, Izzy likes Amber's clips and she picks them up and keeps them with her. Then Amber says that now she has to go home, and here we come to know that this is not her house and she lives a mile away from here. While leaving she tells that some of her friends are also coming tomorrow and she should come too. To which Izzy agrees. After this, Izzy and her mother are practicing when Izzy says that she wants to play for people, and she thinks people will like their songs. But her mother denies her and says that she can never go near anyone or make friends. Now the next day she comes to Amber's party where Amber has brought a swimming custom for her. Here she also meets AJ and Ingrid, Amber's friends. Then she starts playing the drums kept there which they all enjoy a lot. Then AJ makes drinks for all of them and says that he will put a live earthworm in one of these drinks. 
Then he mixes them up and the earthworm drink comes to Izzy. Seeing this, she says that she is a vegetarian. But still everyone asks her to have that drink. Then she drinks it and starts laughing. But suddenly she feels something strange and starts screaming after which she stands up. Then the owner of that house comes there and they all run away from there. Running away, Izzy and Amber end up in the woods where Izzy looked a bit strange. She moves toward Amber and grabs her throat due to which Amber gets angry and leaves from there and tells her never to come near her. Now Izzy goes back to the pool, picks up her clothes and shoes, and starts going home. But on the way, she meets the owner of the house who starts scolding her. He says that he will call the police, but Izzy smiles seeing him, and the scene shifts to his mother who was standing at the window. When Izzy comes home, she asks her where she was. Izzy tells her that she was with her friends and that she had eaten a live worm. Izzy asks her if she is not sick, to which her mother tells her that she is dangerous. Izzy tells her that Amber's uncle has been missing for two days and here Izzy suspected that something wrong is going on. Now that night when Izzy is sleeping in her room, she hears some voices which wake her up. She follows those voices and reaches that symbol, on which placing her hand, he comes out of it. She opens the door there with that key where she also sees that book. Then she puts her hand on the book from which she starts having visions in which she sees some witches, due to which she gets very scared and leaves there. Now the next day Izzy asks her mother why she went crazy that day after eating worms, to which she tells her that it was not because of the worm but because of the life inside it, and if she eats a rat, dog, or deer then she will feel even more power. Izzy asks her what will happen if they eat a human? Her mother says that then she will know her true power, but all this was happening in a dream. Then we see that Izzy has got the finger of a person in breakfast which she is enjoying with great pleasure. But it was a raspberry thorn. Then both of them go out hiking. And her mother tells her that she has opened a door that once opened is very difficult to shut. But this was bound to happen one day and now she will help her control her powers. She gives her a worm to eat. Which gives her a strange feeling as soon as she eats it. After this, she shows her growing a flower on a stick of wood and blows it in the air. But when Izzy tries to do the same, Blood starts oozing out of the wood stick and it sinks into the ground. Seeing this, her mother tells her that that's why she can't leave the mountain. Then we see that slowly, Izzy starts learning control over her powers and she also makes a wooden symbol like her mother and leaves it in the air, and now she too started becoming a witch. Then that night her mother again goes to that room and sees in a vision that Izzy disappears into the air in front of her. She then goes to her room and asks her about Amber, to which she tells that she is no longer her friend. Her mother explains to her that they are not like them. Now the next day Izzy's mother goes to town and Izzy again goes to that secret room and puts her hand on the book, from which she starts having visions again. This time she sees a woman wearing a strange mask, a woman running away with a gun, some demons, and strange things. After this, she makes the same symbol, and with the help of that, she traces Amber. Next, Izzy and her mother are walking in the woods when they see a deer skeleton there. Her mother says that the coyotes might have done this and then they leave from there. Then they start talking while sitting near a waterfall, where her mother tells her that they are called hellbenders because they are powerful. Then she teaches her a spell from which they can smell blood in the air by mixing certain ingredients. Izzy tells her that she smells of a rabbit but her mother tells her that she smells of a man. And a forest ranger comes over there. He asks them about a man who was killed by a wild animal last summer. It is revealed from his words that he is talking about Amber's uncle. Izzy tells him that she might have been killed by a hellbender. He asks her what is a hellbender? On which she tells that it's a cross between a witch, a demon, and an apex predator. He considers her words to be a joke and leaves from there. Now after a few days, the winter season arrives due to which they were no longer getting food items. And Izzy's mother notices that her powers are not working. Then we see that her mother has prepared some food for her and these are many living maggots. Then both of them start playing in the snow during which Izzy vomits blood on her face. After which she also spills blood on Izzy but they were enjoying it. After this, both of them show their powers, and Izzy's mother says that she is not feeling well. Now at night, Izzy's mother tells her that her mother had eaten half of the village, mostly children. She felt so guilty, that she sewed her mouth shut. She was then hanged but didn't die. Izzy asks her age to which she reveals that she is 147 years old. We then see that Izzy meets Amber and apologizes to her. She returns her swimsuit and here Amber tells her that the owner of the house was attacked by a wild animal. She then returns her hair clips and reveals that she stole them from near the pool. Seeing this, Amber gets angry and leaves from there. 
which makes Izzy a bit angry. The next day, Izzy's mother wakes up from her sleep and starts looking for her in the house. Then she goes to that symbol and notices that her powers are not working. On coming inside, she sees that all the items of books and witchcraft were missing from there. She then walks into Izzy's room where she finds the book. As soon as she lays her hand on the book, she sees that Izzy had killed the owner of the house and she sees her looking at her as well. She controls her visions from there and tells her that now she has realized her powers, which she had kept hidden from her for so long. Then she introduces her to Amber, which she had cut in half and kept on the table, and she starts eating her alive in front of her. Seeing this, her mother gets very scared and starts screaming, and here we see the demonic form of Izzy. Then she comes out of the vision and goes to the basement. There she hears some voices and then her attention goes to a box kept there, which had drops of fresh blood on it. She sees that there is a portal inside it and voices are coming from inside it. She starts going inside it, which she was finding very difficult. On going inside, she finds Amber lying there in a very injured condition. She starts asking her for help, and only then Izzy also comes there. Her mother tells her that she will not let her kill Amber. She says that she wants to save her from the hell she knows about. But Izzy says that she has seen visions in the book and she has also seen everything in her dreams. Due to which she has come to know the truth. Now after listening to her words, her mother's real witch form comes to the fore for some time. Next, Izzy says that now it is her turn and she sets the place on fire with her powers. She also kills Amber and then shows her real face, which friends her mother. Then she snaps and everything becomes normal. Here Izzy tells her mother that she won't eat her, because she is not ready to have a little hellbender. Now earlier Izzy had asked her mother how her mother had died, on which she told that winter eats fall, fall eats summer, summer eats spring and spring eats winter, which meant that only the child of a hellbender could kill her by eating her. Then she says that she is going to town. Does she need anything? To which she says bass strings and then we see Izzy flying in the air and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.